Okay, is there any questions? I would like to know whether the water which has been treated by hexagon cutoff can be transferred into container. Uh, yes, definitely. If you are planning to, after you energize the water, if you're planning to transfer the water to another container, right? Now, that depends on uh, the material of the container that you use. If you are using plastic containers, uh, something like this, or your Tupperwares, now, um, make sure that you don't leave them under this, the hot sun or the sunlight. Now, if you contain them with plastic materials, it can last for only about a day. Yeah, because plastic uh, uh, materials are a poor water structure retainer. But if you contain the energized water in a glass bottle, then it will last a little bit more uh, longer, probably about a week. And if you kept them in the refrigerator, the fridge, and it will last even longer. But in any time, if you, if you keep the water in the carafe itself, it's uh, indefinite. It means energy will always be there. Any more questions? Any side effect? Uh, the, uh, there is no side effect, but the effect that you get is you know, your health will be more enhanced, you will be more ref uh, energized, more refreshing, and drinking water that's energized by the carafe will attain a greater uh, toxin removal in your body. May I know what is the right way or proper way of taking care of this uh, glassware? Can uh, I clean it with a uh, scoring pad or what, what would be the right cleaning method? Uh, it's, a, it's very simple to uh, maintain the glassware. All you need to do is just rinse it and wash it with uh, running water. Okay? You do not need to use any detergent. All right? uh, just, uh, you, sometimes if, let's say if you are, using, if you are energizing with uh, milk or something that can stain the glass, all you need to do is use some citric acid to just rinse it. You don't need to use any kind of, uh, you know, hard cleaning uh, brushes. Don't use that. Mm -hmm. Just use water and rinse it. It's good enough. May I ask how many times can this hexagon cutoff energize our beverages? How many times? Uh, you basically, you know, uh, you can energize as as much as you want. You know, there's 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 no uh, lifespan. Yeah, it's life. It's a lifetime uh, ener energy product. Uh, as long as you uh, keep it intact, it's not broken. As long as water can still uh, contain in this glassware, it's still able to energize it. Yeah? This glassware does not uh, use any kind of uh, um, FIR or any kind of uh, magnets or any electricity to energize the water. It's, the principle is all about the uh, shape of the uh, glass. All right, and also the uh, pattern that has been used uh, underneath the, mm. the bottom of the glass. Yeah. Can I ask, if this energized water can mix with medicine? Oh yes, yes, yes. You can drink the water that's energized together with your uh, medicine. Yeah. Can we use the energized water for plantation, for flowers? Definitely, definitely. Your plants will, will, will you know, uh, uh, grow. Uh, even more beautifully, yeah, with the uh, energized water, of course, yes. Now, it's important that you know that um, <clears throat> only you only energize safe, clean drinking water. Please don't put any other uh, dirty water inside, yeah, don't put your drain water inside. This, this glassware will not uh, filter or clean any of your water, it will not change your water into alkaline or whatsoever, right? All it does is it energize and revitalize yeah, and also restore the memory of the water back to its original uh, 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 structure. Any more questions? What are the differences between the SE tumbler and this hexagon? Oh, good question. Now, the SE tumbler, okay, they might share the same uh, uh, function but it's two different products altogether. The SE uh, tumbler uses the uh, FIR to uh, uh, break down the molecular clusters of the water and uh, it does change the, uh, uh, the, the uh, biological value of your water or liquid that you put into the tumbler, but it takes a longer time, all right? probably about 15, 20 minutes. Okay? Uh, but if you compare with the carafe, the carafe is even faster and uh, even stronger. All right, the taste is even better. 
you know, if you put it into the carafe, compare to if you put it into the tumbler. Carafe only takes three minutes, and the taste is even much better. Now, um, this is these are some added information. Um, if you're planning to drink any kind of uh, drinks which has uh, gas in the drink or carbonated drinks, such as you know all the gassy drinks, Coke, Seven Up, or even beers, okay, or champagne, all these kind of drinks they have gas inside. All right now, if you please don't put them into the carafe. All right, if you put in the carafe three minutes later, the the your drinks will be no more gas. Oh. All right. It will remove all the gas and it won't be so nice to drink. Uh, anything except gassy drinks. Because if you want to drink Coke, you want to drink you know, beer or champagne, you want to have lots of all this gas in it. So you can do another uh, a, a separate demo. Uh, you can put you know, uh, some Coke into the carafe. Right? And uh, three minutes later, you can taste the Coke has no more gas. Any more questions? No? If not, then thank you very much.